Hi, welcome back. We are here for the next lesson and we're going to just jump right in. So again, you see where our default template is highlighted. We're going to go OK and open our new document. One of the things, we're on the same story, I know, um, but I changed it a little bit. We worked on centering the, t the title last time, but now I added a few different things. I added an underline to the word summary, and I, underline, and I added bold text. And I think there's also down here a, I'm going to select and do italics. We'll do that whole last line as italics. Yeah, we'll just do one. So let's see what happens when we just copy and paste. Because if the way you used Duxbury was a simple copy and paste, then guess what? You would be fine. Everything, your life would be, you know, very doable. Everything would be fine. I'm going to add in level of comfort. Oops. Okay, just to add the title in. But there are things that we can do to make our lives easier. So if you look at this, in the print version, the summary was underlined. Summary is not underlined. If you look in the print version where we copied from Word, Janeway and Chakotay were bold. They're not bold. If you look in the print version, the first taste, the first taste was supposed to be italics. It's not italics. Well, let's see. Maybe there might be some codes that we just can't see. So I did view and I did codes. The only code that's visible is where I um, pushed at where I, where, I, where I pushed return. So that's just what this is. There's nothing else here. So if we translated it, the there wouldn't be anything that's underlined. We, there wouldn't be anything that would be bold print. There wouldn't be anything that is on italics. Now we can certainly go back and do each of those things by hand by adding in, once we have translated it, adding in the correct braille that would note to the reader that there's a underline or there is a bold word or there is italics but we want the program that we spent a lot of money for we want this program to do everything it can do so we're gonna go back to view and we're gonna hide the codes because we don't need to do that right now if you remember to center we're going to go this this line is a, was what I want centered. Layout, apply style, start typing centered. Now it's centered. Summary. I want summary underlined. Just that word. So I'm going to highlight that word. I'm going to go to layout and I'm going to apply style. So this time I'm not going to center it. I want to what came up is uncontracted, but I'm going to scoot down from there. Oops. And I want it underlined. Okay. Now look, you see in the print version of Duxbury, summary is underlined. I want Janeway and Chicote bold. I'm going to go to layout, apply style, BO, there's bold. Now you can tell it's kind of faint, but you can tell that there's those letters are a little thicker. I want what was the it was first taste. The word taste was in italics. I'm gonna go to layout. I think I'm gonna go to layout. I'm gonna go to layout, apply style, and I italics. Okay. So, and as you can see, now that's, well, hopefully you can tell, that is going to, the word taste is a little, is in italics. So now we're going to go to view. We're going to turn back on those codes. Now we see a lot more. We see that 
between level of comfort, that's going to be centered. We see the underline begin, underline end, and summary in between. So summary is going to be underlined. We have bold beginning, Janeway and Chicote, bold end. There's nothing here until we get to the italics, italics to start, the word taste, and then italics to end. And then that's all that we see. So we're going to go. So that's the view of codes. We're going to turn that codes off. And now we don't see the codes anymore, but we see the underline. We see the bold print. We see the taste. Okay. And now we're going to translate. And since we have translated it, it shows us the braille that's saying that what's coming next is underlined. That word summary is underlined. This is going to show us that what comes next is going to be in bold. Okay? And this is where the bold's going to end. We see, let's see if we can skip down. Yep, here's taste. We see that this is where that this word right here is going to be italicized so yes we could have gone through each word that was underlined and each word that was bold and each word that was italicized but say if you have that several times within your document that's going to be a pain let the program work for itself so then that's what our layout and apply style will do for us it'll help us so if we are just going to copy and paste we can a straight word document we can add the codes in so we can see them on the Duxbury and that way they will translate it in the Duxbury well I hope this lesson was this is a quick and short one I hope this lesson was helpful to you. We learned how to use layout to center. We reviewed that. We used, we showed how layout was going to show us how to underline, how to bold, and how to do italics. So again, if this lesson has been helpful, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please, 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 please leave them in the comments below and I promise I'll get back to you and answer them and you might even prompt me to do a video for that but give it a like share it if again the more people who know the more people who can learn the better so share and subscribe if you haven't and ring that bell so just so if we won't miss any more content as we put out new have a great evening